Right, folks, Good Life One Charlie here from the Global AG with the Canon GP9 SF X. It's like a sporting version of the V2. And long magazine, plus two. So on the magazine bottom. And uh, as you see, the slide's a little longer, barrel's a little longer, slide's ventilated, barrel's not ventilated. 9 by 19 striker fired, no decocking mechanism, but we got a placeholder for a dot over here, like a doctor site or something. Little enlarged um, slide release, little enlarged magazine catch, nothing else really changed about the pistol. Uh, from inside, still looks all the same, like a mix of a, between Walter and the Glock. I'm pretty amazed of the, uh, of the cost ratio of mechanic pistols, I'll test it out today for you guys. This is 50 meters on 25 meters, first is 50 after it, uh, sorry, first is 25 after 50 and then I'll do some uh, quick response drills on 7 meters. Just gonna, take, uh, just gonna take five rounds on 50 meters, uh, on 25 meters first of all, what we got, five rounds. All right, first issue about the magazine, uh, it shows that the fifth round is loaded while there are only four rounds loaded. Not a big deal, but would be nice if this would be accurate. Let's check the hits out of 25 meters. Nothing really scientific, not too... Uh, what's that? Ein Treffer, zwei Treffer, drei Treffer, vier Treffer. Ich stehe nicht dumm. Ah, ja. Yeah. Alright, we got one, two, three, four hits. I was looking for the fifth hit, I forgot that I got only, that I had only five rounds loaded. Alright, let's load it up again. Let's check it out at 50 meters. Yeah, as you, as you can hear, it's pr pretty, pretty a lot of shooting today. Right. 50 meters. Can you engage it? Thanks a lot. Overall, man, pretty amazing pistol. Can't say anything about that. Got a nice match grade barrel. I don't know if you guys can see it, but this barrel is nicely machined. Looks very European, by the way. And even though the gun already has a lot of shots after, uh, behind it, still looks damn good. Slide as well. Gotta mention, uh, embarrassingly, those guns do not get cleaned a lot, but don't seem to have any issue about that. Right, 50 meters. Check it out. By the way, decocker just, uh, I'm sorry, not a decocker indicator. Just also in the Walter P99, you can feel it, you can see it. Uh, also, just for instance, on the P99, you got a loaded chamber indicator. We have all the same stuff over here, it's not sticking out at the moment. It's sticking out a little. You can feel it. Visually, you can see it a little. Slightly. Not really with a red mark. Not really on the red, with a red mark like on the P99. But good enough. All right. Let's check it out. 50 meters. We got one, two, three, four. Where's our fifth? Uh, yeah, the fifth. The fifth. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Five hits. So we got five hits, not too, not too uh, scientific, not too uh, special, not too precise, but all right, good enough to show what the gun is capable of. Seven meters. We're going to shoot it now on seven, on seven meters, five rounds. Uh, quick response drill, no big deal. By the way, ammo we're using, nine millimeter, nine by nineteen, Sumbro. I don't know Sumbro. Might be a no name. Uh, 124 grain, pretty heavy bullet, but
but seems like the gun is uh, handling it accuracy wise pretty good. Right. Fourth round. Fifth round. Don't take off my gun. Don't unload my gun. Gun is clean. Alright, taking the candy. Five rounds loaded. Alright. Can you give me a contact? Contact! 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 For some reason, the slide catcher didn't engage on the last round. It might be my finger. Got the same problems on Glock sometimes. I'm not sure. I don't think it was my finger because guns having an extra serration for the thumb are usually my type of gun. I don't engage the slide catch. Might be an issue about the gun. Not quite sure. I uh, just want to check the trigger for uh, for how quick it is possible uh, to do follow-up shots. All right. Check it out. Not quite sure. Three, four. Yeah, all right. Mm -hmm. Still has decent recoil. Okay. Still has decent recoil. Stop. Overall, uh, it, it, it's like impressive, you know. If you can get those guns, like the standard version, for around two fifty or three fifty. I'm sorry, three fifty dollars uh, in the USA regularly, and they just run. I w I would not say it runs worse than an uh, MMP uh, nine or uh, any Smith & Wesson, but you won't find anything comparable in this price category. Pretty decent gun. Thanks for watching, folks.